vaccine and good afternoon everybody. It's lovely to see so many wonderful questions in the room. So as Maxine said, I'm Chanel Rayburn. Um, I am a former history and I want to talk about how long ago. So I'll keep you all guessing. <laughs> I'm wondering. Um, but yeah, that was my first final venture into events being part of the event. Um, part of the event. And, uh, I was a student still at the time and I started to really embrace kind of being in my culture and, and then obviously with this training people are exposing to many different opportunities, meetings with fantastic people. And it just gave me just you know, I don't want to have to say in Northwest of London, I'm really being exposed to a world like that and it just opened up a world to learn from my eyes. Um, and gave me this fun for events because I then became vice president for that and I started out and many years ago. Um, up until the last few years, I was heavily involved in that. Uh, and so naturally, I, 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 I loved events. I was a good girl from the Caribbean household, and I did what I was told. And I went to school, got some great grades, and I went to uni, got a great degree, and then I was supposed to get a great job. Um, and a bit similar to Sheena, I thought what I wanted to do for when I started to do it, because you know, it's probably. Uh, what's uh, my dad? So I'll so rewind a bit. My dad asked me when I was young, he said, I'm going to do a I was a fashion designer. And uh, his face said, Oh, that's a today. That's a good topic. I'm going to ask you again what you want to be. And, and, and so, you know, you start to think, Oh, I want to be something that is of prominence, that the world thinks is of prominence. So I said, Okay, oh, yeah, I'm from the country. Uh, 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 I know. You know, I to talk and uh, I'd love to play well, I love to play, I love to do more. So I'm doing more, did a turn up door, hated it, went to speak to my course leader, and my course leader said, what do you do to join? So, you know, so I love languages, um, I love travel, um, I love a bit of just the aim, I love a little bit of politics history, it's okay. I've got a course for you, that I can do and and it, I said, what, what, what can you lead me into? He said, don't worry about that. Each step of your life leads you to the next step. And it doesn't necessarily have to be by side, but you just go where the opportunities come. So I started doing European studies, absolutely loved it. Uh, ended up spending some time in Paris, speaking through French, etc., etc. Things I probably never imagined um, as a young girl that I would really do. Still, really good. Uh, I went into the corporate world. So I started writing schemes in London, I just built a reputation for the culture and events. So there is a way that you can kind of find it. And when I say that we consult things, they consult me, usually there's a budget I can pay for that. So I get paid to give advice, or I get paid to bring in creative ideas. Um, and I think it's really important that we own our story and we own our culture. Well, I love culture, I love my culture, I love our culture, I love my roots, I love my history, I love my people, I love my story, I love everything about it. I love growing up in a community where I felt like I wasn't the only one who lived in a period. All of these things, it's, 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 it's the essence of who I am. And so anything that's to do with culture, music, um, you know, community, I'm there. And so in terms of the entrepreneur element, I get approached a lot of the time to um, come consult, get involved, or project manage various things to do with culture. One of the biggest things we're involved in right now is City Splash Radio Festival. Did anyone ever be? Yeah, yeah. Did anyone ever go? Yeah. Yeah. So we have to let it all. It's a great lineup. I want to go check out. But, um, so it's in the internet, and um, it's, it's really, you know, quite yeah. important. Like, I've been to the internet and I've got this article. So I encourage anybody. In this group, when you're, when you're young, when you're children, and parents in the room, I would really encourage you please do not shut down your child's creativity. Because actually, creativity is what makes this world a special place that it is. Because many corporations, none of you are working, nine to five in a corporation, there's nothing wrong with that. You're enjoying what you do. But, we have so much in our creativity. Please, if you have children who they display certain um, you know, talents in certain areas or they really enjoy something, please encourage that. Don't shut down and tell them that's a hobby that they need to be aware of. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and so I'll just leave you with those words. Wow!